As a proud South Australian, I want to see the country's first solar thermal power station built here in South Australia in Port Augusta. Well done to the team. I know there's been a few blisters along, along the way and along the uh, long walk and uh, we need to welcome them warmly today and give uh, our ab utmost thanks because it is people who have come from right around the country to advocate not just for what is good for Port Augusta, not just what's good for Adelaide, but also good for the rest of the country. Now these guys have walked over 300 kilometres to get here, and you guys have got a fantastic job. Give us a hand. There's pretty walks like this around Australia today for solar thermal in Port Augusta. The coal-fired power stations have to be shut down. But we have a choice. We can either go to clean solar or we can continue on the, uh, the path of gas, which might be cheaper in the short term, but it's going to be far more expensive in the long term. The gas will be coal seam gas from Queensland, which is hugely destructive. To build concentrated solar thermal, you need a minimum of 1,900 kilowatt uh, hours per square metre per year hitting the ground. Port Augusta has 2,400. Okay, so it's a great solar resource. It's actually an ideal spot to build concentrated solar thermal. Also, you've got the town by, you've got the availability of the workforce. So Port Augusta ticks all the boxes. What we're talking about here is nation building infrastructure. If we head down this pathway, we can then end up with a system where we get all of Australia's electrical energy entirely from renewables including covering base load and wait for it when you average it out over 30 years not over the first quarter but over 30 years it can supply australia with electricity at one third of the price of burning coal and virtually no carbon emissions it's cheaper electricity for australians and no emissions what's not to like Thank you. 